Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to enable the integration with Microsoft Defender for Endpoint for Windows. See, a workload protection for servers includes an integrated license for Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. Together they provide comprehensive endpoint detection and response capabilities which is EDR. When Defender for Endpoint detects a threat, it triggers an alert. The alert is shown in Microsoft Defender for Cloud. From Microsoft Defender for Cloud, we can also pivot to the Defender for Endpoint console and perform a detailed investigation to uncover the scope of the attack. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. I am logged on to the portal and here you will see, go to the environment settings. In the environment settings, select the subscription. In my case, it is pay as you go. If you have more than one subscription, make sure you, if you are enabling this setting, you have to enable it on both of them. Now, I have to go to the Linux VM, right? In, the, in this subscription only, I have all of my VMs, right? So, I will go to the integrations on the left. Enable for Linux virtual machines, enable unified solution. It says to enable Defender for Cloud to integrate with other Microsoft security services, allows those services to access your data. Allow Microsoft Defender for Cloud apps to access my data. Allow Microsoft Defender for endpoint to access my data. Now in here if you would uh, so if I say allow for defender for endpoint and I say enable for Linux virtual machines I clicked on that and you click on save. Enable Linux virtual, enable Linux machines in Defender for Endpoint integration. This will auto provision Microsoft Defender for Endpoint to new and existing Linux machines. When you have enabled the integration, the on or off state is unified for Windows and Linux virtual machines. I click on enable. Threat detection setting for subscription is saved successfully. So the unified solution is Defender for uh, Cloud supports Microsoft Defender for Endpoint Unified Solution for Windows Server 2012 R2 and Windows Server 2016. And it will uh, ignore uh, Microsoft after enabling this setting, Microsoft Defender for Cloud will automatically onboard Windows and Linux machines to Defender for Endpoint. It, it will ignore any Linux machines that are running other uh, Fanatify based solutions and it will detect any previous installations of Defender for Endpoint and reconfigure them to integrate with Defender for Cloud onboarding. This may take 24 hours, right? So as in when, as soon as you implement this setting, it might not be visible or integration might not be fully functional so you will you might have to wait for 24 hours for the complete integration to work right so i hope this was informative for all of you guys if you have any further queries please mention them in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you have a good day